Hey guys, what's happening? Luis here with a review of the Seraphim Laser Keyboard. So I've talked a lot about laser keyboards on my channel before, and this is the first time that I actually got to try one out in person. So huge thanks to Seraphim for making that possible. This laser keyboard was funded on Kickstarter with over 460% of funding completed earlier last year. A lot of people saw a huge potential in it because it's a little bit different than the other laser keyboards in the sense that it's also a laser piano. Yeah, if you download their official piano app, you can actually play the piano too, which is pretty neat if you're a musician or if you just wanna show it off to people. So, getting right down to it, I've been using this virtual laser keyboard for about a couple of weeks now, and I'm ready to share my thoughts with you guys. So first of all, it's super easy to pair with your phone or your tablet, you just have to do it through a simple Bluetooth connection, but you might have to go through your settings first and set it up as your primary keyboard input in order for it to work. And once you do that, you can set it up on any flat surface and just start typing away like a regular keyboard. Here's what I really like about it so far. It's surprisingly faster and accurate than I thought it would be. I was a little bit skeptical about how this was gonna work and I was really surprised at how well it understood what I was trying to type. There are multiple language layouts too, which a lot of similar keyboards don't have. And I can say there's not a very small learning curve, but once you get past it, it's not that different from a regular physical keyboard. The size is great too, not too slim, not too bulky, and it easily fits in your hand and you can put it in your pocket and take it out whenever you need to. Also, you really don't need to be worrying about this thing dying on you. I actually found that on my average testing, I used it for about 10 hours before I had to plug it back into the charger. So while the overall typing experience is definitely accurate, especially when you get used to it, I would love to feel some type of haptic feedback or vibration whenever I hit a key. Because you're literally tapping on whatever surface you're using this on, it just doesn't feel that natural. Again, the convenience of it is awesome, but there's no way to tell if you're typing correctly unless you're looking at the screen at the same time. And also, I wish there was a way that you could resize the layout. I found that sometimes the surface might be a little bit too narrow to fit all of the keys all in one place and being able to adjust that would definitely be ideal. So you're probably asking why would anyone use this instead of just typing with your fingers? And that's honestly how I felt at first too, but now I don't see myself packing up my school bag without it. It's so much better to type long work emails or papers if you have this, especially if you forget your laptop or run out of battery, which I know it happens to me a lot. And if you know how to play piano, you also have that option there too. And overall, I don't think this is a necessity for anyone. It's definitely not a mainstream accessory by any means, but for those who are looking for a convenient and portable keyboard option for their smartphone or tablet, this is really worth checking out if you have the cash.